Hi, my name is Anjana Million. I'm a junior at Middletown High School. There are consequences for children who are bystanders or witnesses to bullying. They suffer from frustration, fear, low self-esteem, and a loss of control. They may also feel a huge sense of guilt about the bullying they witness, especially if they do not save, S-A-V-E. The victim and the bullying continues. Sometimes their guilt is too much for them to accept. In these cases, the witnesses may go from empathizing with the victim to later, thinking that the bullying is acceptable. This is their way of preventing themselves from feeling more guilt in the future. They will simply not even recognize that someone is being hurt. Witnesses also develop a lot of anxiety and stress. They worry that they will also become a victim and therefore feelings of safety and security at school decrease. This leads to negative feelings towards school which can also contribute to problems with learning and achievement. Everyone in a school must work together to stop bullying, and that includes students who are neither bullies nor victims. Bullying is everybody's concern. In fact, the amount of bullying occurring in a school can actually be lessened depending on how students deal with it. You may be wondering who these other students are if they are not bullies or victims. They are the witnesses to bullying behavior and may also be called the caring majority, bystanders, helpers, or onlookers. Here are some specific strategies that you can use if you are a witness to any kind of bullying. Together, these strategies spell out the word save. This makes sense because a witness could think of themselves as a lifesaver to victims who are being bullied. Just like a lifesaver can save someone who is in danger of drowning, a witness can help a victim who is in danger of drowning in the mean words and actions from a bully. S. Speak up. Unless you feel the bullying situation is very unsafe, speak up to the bully. You could tell them, cut it out, that's not nice, we don't do that in our school, etc. If you don't feel comfortable standing up to the bully, direct your energy to the victim to make him or her feel better. When speaking up, never bully the bully back. It will only make the situation worse, and the bully may hurt you as well. You could also speak up to the other bystanders if they are laughing and encouraging the bully. They also have a responsibility in stopping the bully. We must all do everything we can to prevent childhood bullying. Be a hero in your school, neighborhood, and community. Help everyone respect others. A. Adult help. Report the bullying to an adult and do so immediately. If the situation is very serious, remember that unreported bullying will keep on happening. Trusted adults you could go to include a teacher, supervisory aide, principal, guidance counselor, bus driver, family member, coach, neighbor, etc. V. Volunteer solutions. Ask the victim to go to another table with you, away from the bully, or to move to another part of the playground away from the bully. Ask the victim to play with you and your friends. Ask the victim to sit with you on the bus. Ask the victim if they would like you to go talk to an adult with them in order to report the bully. E. In the victim's sadness, show empathy to the victim and tell them you understand how he or she feels. Listen to them if they want to talk about what happened or to share their feelings. Tell them, I'm sorry that he or she did that to you. If it is true, tell them that bullying has also happened to you. Cheer up the victim in any way you can. Remember, be all you can be, bully free.